Hello and welcome to the start of season 2 for my F123 My Team Career Mode. We start off in Bahrain. If you missed the last video, you went through everything that had been happening over the winter break. We have a new teammate in Yuki Senoda, but we have same issues in the car when it's not breaking down. I do believe we have a quick car this season. Going back to Yuki Senoda though, I know he was one free drivers that didn't score a point last season, but I do see potential in the young Japanese driver and I think he can take us to the next level because I wasn't really happy with Fittipaldi. I tried to go in for Albon but he was more focused on his Williams project. Into qualifying then, we are second at fastest. This car is very, very quick. Investing in the R&D last season has helped because we crossed the line to take pole position for the first race of the season. Let's go into it. Practice. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone. Turn 10. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position. Just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Sainz, Leclerc, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Perez, Ocon, Norris, Gasly, Stroll, Albon, Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, De Vries, Joe, Sargent, Liam Lawson and Enzo Fittipaldi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. I'm joined by Anthony Davidson at the start of a new season and it is a clean slate. Absolutely anything is possible right now. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Okay, mate, I really want to convert this pole position into a win today. Go out there and get it. Good luck. So we're here on the grid and once again, like the very first episode in this career mode, we're on the at the front with some Mercedes around us. This time we're on pole. Back then, 60 races ago, we didn't have the car, but now I believe we do. Can we take it to Mercedes and win the first race? We're racing here in Bahrain for the start of the 2024 season. We haven't got the best of starts. At the inside goes George Russell. Hamilton now trying to go around the outside of his teammate. We run wide. Hamilton does George round the outside. And now, as we head up towards turn four, Hamilton is getting closer and closer and Hamilton goes to the inside of turn four. We try and hold it to the outside, but we've run wide and off the track. Hamilton says thank you very much and is through. Now, how have we got the pace to get back past our fellow Brit? It's just like it was last season. Very much deja vu. And starting on pole, can we actually finish this race and get as we have been having a pretty bad pole position curse we started on pole in Monza the engine blew up we started on pole in the America Sprint and the gearbox blew up but now can we convert this into a win when we're going to do everything we can we go to the outside we sw swap Hamilton the dummy he sees it coming he fends us off into turn one we're going to get closer and closer to him heading up towards turn four we go to the inside we chop him back to the outside and we keep it pinned all the way around the outside of Lewis Hamilton and back into the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix, the end of lap 3, Hamilton's coming back at us, so we had a bad exit out of the last corner, Hamilton at the inside, we try though and cut him back, and we do cut him back, we're side by side, down the pit straight, George now, 
waiting in the wings and there's a Fernando Alonso also at the back there. They're side by side with Lewis Hamilton heading down the pit straight. We're at the inside. We're going to force him the long way round. But that turns to the inside for him. And he retakes the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix. We're going to go to the inside this time. The outside weren't working. At the inside we go and into the lead. We force Hamilton wide and George Russell sees his chance to re-overtake his teammate. The two Mercedes side by side. Hamilton's not giving up. George isn't giving up. It's a side by side. This is allowing us to pull a small gap. And George up the inside. Hamilton tries to hold it. They need to be careful here because Fernando Alonso is waiting in the wings. As now round into the tight chicane Hamilton still there on the inside George on the outside they're still side by side but it looks like George has got the job done on Hamilton Alonso also trying to find a way through on Hamilton George is up to second and now Fernando is going at his former rival and former teammate to the inside goes Alonso now Alonso is still trying to hold it. Hamilton could possibly go from the lead of the race to fourth. And that's exactly what has happened on lap four. Hamilton though coming back out Fernando Alonso. And Alonso defends to the inside. Meanwhile in the background, look at Yuki in his first race for us. Trying to find a way to run the Ferrari. This is Alonso now coming back at Hamilton. That's allowed me and George to start to get away. Alonso on the inside of Hamilton. Up the inside goes Alonso. Up the inside goes Sonoda on Leclerc as Carlos Sainz has spun it round at the first corner. He's pointing the wrong way. And the Ferrari that looked okay in testing had many issues. He's lit up the rear tyres and made himself a long, long weekend and Sunday to come now as he tries to now get himself back in this race. This is a replay now of what happened. He was right on the back of Yuki. He has to back out of it. And then in the wake of his teammate maybe was the contact with the Red Bull. No there wasn't there was though as he was spinning round. He just lit at the rear tires. And that's not a mistake you'd expect Carlos Sainz to be making. This is Perez is Perez had a big snap going down, just caught in the wake of Yuki Tsunoda, up the inside though, Sainz loses it and there was definitely contact between the Spaniard and the Mexican there. Does that Red Bull have some damage? As in the meantime whilst that was going on, Joe Guan Yu in his Alfa Romeo is pulling off and out of the Bahrain Grand Prix. On to lap 12 and all that chaos behind allowed me to pull away from George but only just. We were just keeping the gap above a second. We were managing the pace. It was all right. We box at the end of lap 12. George carries on. And we'll see if we can actually convert this. I hope you like the livery as well. Gold, ditching the yellow. Didn't really like last season's livery. This season's so much nicer. But now as we make our stop onto the mediums. 2.8 seconds stop, not particularly quick. But Mark seems to think that that's alright. But back out onto the track now. And I believe we have found ourselves a lovely little gap to fall into just behind Piastri. And now we can get the hammer down and hopefully beat out George, who on the end of lap 14 did an extra couple of laps to us. And he's now going to box now to go on to the medium. So he will have two lap pressure tyres come the end of the Grand Prix. So will that affect anything in the late, later stints? You can see Yuki also boxing in the background. Here we come now. We set the fastest lap of the race. We come flying down the pit straight. And George Russell is nowhere to be seen. We beat him out in the gap. It's slightly got bigger, it's still just over a second, so we haven't managed to pull the advantage that I was hoping we would. As at the end of lap 19, we were keeping the gap, but once George had broken a DRS, he was so hard to shake off. And up the inside now goes George, they're fighting for the win. Up the inside goes George. 
we cut him back coming out to the final corner but now we got the DRS they're basically pushing him down the straight we pull to the inside we've got dirt on the tires they're up now into the first corner up the inside of George Russell George tries to keep a pin round the outside we give him the space but we get him on the exit and we keep the lead of the Grand Prix we really need to break this DRS again George is very very quick in this Mercedes especially on these medium tyres as he re overtakes us we try and go back to the inside we're thinking about this now though with the DRS we're going to try and do the, the Charles Leclerc manoeuvre let him through and then get back on the attack like he did to Max Verstappen in 2022 here we go back on the inside of George Russell in the background is Hamilton he can't really get close we retake the lead in the Grand Prix again this is a very very good battle hard but fair this is round the outside goes George we defend the inside line he will now, now have another stab of DRS heading up towards turn 4 but he couldn't make it count and now lap 26 look at the straight line speed of that Mercedes comes from miles back to get up our inside we cover him off he's still there though and now he is a lot closer than he was we fended him off though and with a couple of laps to go two laps to go now George back on the inside we tuck back into his slipstream as we head down towards turn one George this time has got us but comes down the back of him and he's trying to get him back we're not giving up on this a chance to get our first ever win in the career mode and his Lamborghini racing but George this time is through but we've managed to stick to the back of him I thought he was gonna, just going to pull away but we're matching each other's pace but we do have to remember he has got two lap fresher tyres that is now really starting to come into play Hamilton's is not really really um, challenging us despite our hard battling as we go to the outside again here round the outside of George Russell we have the inside line we get the exit we give George a little nudge because he gave us a little nudge coming out of turn one and now we've pulled the gap out and because of that he's had to lift and we've got the gap out to over a second and that allowed us then to pull away as George though has one more final look at the inside but he can't do it we are going to round the final corner up to the line to win our first Grand Prix oh superb driving that is the race win my friends well done a nearly flawless performance here then and a commanding victory Anthony Davidson how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today well they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track I think their ability to keep their cool even during some of the more hectic parts of the race meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. So that's been your Bahrain Grand Prix for season two in the first round of the season. And what a way to kick off the season with our first win as Lamborghini Racing. We break the pole position curse as well, winning from pole. We didn't have it easy. George threw everything at us and we did deal with it. And a bit of deja vu in that race as well because in season one, in the very first episode, we were fighting Mercedes. We started P3 and we fought Mercedes into the first corner. Ultimately that day, we didn't have the car we went backwards but now we have the car to fight and it's a beautiful car to drive now Yuki 
having a good race for us. P6 for his first race as the team Fittipaldi, Stone dead last. So I feel like we made a good decision getting rid of Fittipaldi. So in terms of the constructors then, we are second at Mercedes lead, but we are just a single point behind them and many teams still yet to score as well. Obviously it is only the first race. Red Bull having an absolute shocker, only picking up six points after they were looking so strong in testing. Top in the first two days, maybe they showed their true pace in testing and everyone else is sandbagging and they've been caught out because of that. But anyway, we have a very very quick car this season and hopefully this isn't just a one-off and we can continue this on for the next 15 races we don't want to think about the title yet it is only one race but if the car has this pace around every track and especially for the fact we go to australia next a very different track to here in bahrain it's possible but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video this first round of season two and i'll see you when we go down under in australia goodbye